Mama could really use a vacation. Both story restoration and fragment collection are going well. And Mama has presents for good children like you who work hard. So tell me, which do you like more? Stuffed animals or dogs? Aren't stuffed animals just the cutest? But this gift is no simple toy. It's a reliable companion that will fight alongside you in battle. Companions come in five different affinities, but for now, you can pick between fire and wind. Either one would be a big help. How about the fire one? Okay, here you go. Make sure to equip it, and you'll be able to meet it during battle. I'll show you how to make the magic happen. Now let's keep going, shall we? What are those things up ahead? Oh my, bird statues. Oh, it broke. I do hope no one saw that. building is so big. It's just like a castle. Let's fix the memory in the Scarecrow and then invite ourselves in, shall we? This gun. Anyway, let's get started restoring this story, shall we? A 
mechanical soldier sleeps amidst the detritus of a castle storehouse. Time has no meaning here. A minute is as an age. Until the day he meets the boy. Exhausted boy can only mutter three simple words. Let me rest. Seeking to help, the man begins rooting around to prepare a makeshift bed. As he continues to dig, a discarded weapon suddenly activates. Enemy forces sight. The man manages to assemble a crude resting place from the storehouse junk. The boy wearily makes his way to the bed and manages a heartfelt thanks. After studying the man for a moment, he begins to ask him questions. The name the man gives is that of the first model of clockwork soldiers. I was also a first once, says the boy. First in line to the throne, but no more. The man explains he was unable to carry out orders and discarded as defective. The boy responds that as his disease has grown worse, he too has been cast aside. You and I are much alike, says the boy with a sad smile. Weary of talking, the boy finally falls asleep. The man simply sits, keeping the boy's peaceful expression in the corner of his eye. This is the story of a gun-wielding mechanical soldier. I suppose these are memories of when he first met the boy with the staff. Well then, let's head over to the castle. This isn't a terribly welcoming atmosphere.
Think you can stop me? Ha! Oh, come on. Just die already. Here! The privilege of youth to move forward by breaking everything in your path. Do you think it's about time we get a move on? I shall take care of them. Come on, just die already. Your numbers don't mean squat. easier if we could just crash through those awful black barriers. Now this is an odd room. Well, let's keep going. It's a waterfall of sand. Looks like the path goes through it. Maybe there's a way to stop the flow. Is that a... Which? The sand stopped! Oh, how lovely! Now we can move past it. There's a switch here, too. Give it a push. Ah, this one opens up the first path. How clever. The path is open now. Scarecrow, let's get to restoring this memory. The cold room burdens the boy 
and his condition worsens. The man looks about and sees what appears to be a bottle of medicine. But upon taking it in hand and looking at the label, he realizes it is actually a weapon of poison gas. Think you can stop me? Come on, just die already. <coughs> I have no time for this. The man continues to search for medicine that might aid the boy. It seems the storehouse expands beyond the junk pile pressed against the wall. He retrieves a bottle from the shelf and returns to the bed where the boy waits. The boy looks at the man's gift and chuckles. Empty bottles won't cure me, I'm afraid, he says as the man stares at him blankly. Still, says the boy, he suddenly stands as if a thought has come to mind. The boy places a candle in the bottle, turning it into a small lamp. He then begins to sing in a small, quiet voice. By the power of his will does the hero draw his sword. To stop the mean advances of the darkness in the world. He will use this light to lead away the people from fear's horde. It is the song of a hero who challenges evil in order to save his people. The lamp flickers warmly as the man thinks. Thank you, he says finally. Those words should not have existed in the man, and yet somehow they did. The boy's shocked stare slowly becomes a smile, bright enough to last a lifetime. In the corner of a frigid room, these two companions are comforted by the same warmth. Imagine you're getting used to this by now. Wonderful. Let's keep it up. Think you can stop me? Ha! 
<laughs> I have no time for this. Let's get this slaughter shell on the road. Your numbers don't mean squat. <coughs> I have no time for this. These stairs look terribly unsafe. It does seem like an effective way to keep intruders out, though. The cage is just filled with mysteries, isn't it? Oh, that's... It's the monster that attacked us earlier. Are you going to chase it? It's almost like it's calling to us. Hmm, it's not here. Well, let's take care of the Scarecrow for now. Soldiers' voices drift in from outside. The kingdom has once again declared war. The boy looks at the man and opens his heart. He once lacked the courage to stand against his father and had stayed complicit. But now he burns to stop the king and protect his people from the horrors of war. The passion in his eyes is evident. The man breaks through the door, and the boy follows after.
think you can stop me? Ha! Come on. Just die already. As a divine light shines behind him, the king glares down at the two interlopers. In a bold voice, the boy shouts up at the king. By my name as the firstborn, I propose this war be ended. In that moment, he is just like the hero of his song. With a sneer, the king looks to the clockwork soldier and says, The man freezes, but he cannot disobey his master, for that is how he was programmed. With a shaking hand, he readies his gun. The boy stares straight at the man from the end of the barrel. Unable to resist his orders, the man's finger hovers over the trigger. In a final, desperate move, the man shuts down his own motor circuits. His finger lets go of the trigger, and he falls to his knees before the boy. It is the first time he has resisted orders of his own volition. All to save the boy. With an animalistic cry, the king rises up before the pair. Think you can stop me? Ha! The king's roar brings soldiers running as he demands they tear the traitors apart. The man seizes the boy's hand, and they begin to run from the castle. For the first time in his existence, the man finally has a will of his own. was driven from his country. The king wished for control, while the prince prayed for peace and happiness. They were both thinking of their country. So why did it have to end up so? Why is there a person in a place like this? Excuse me, miss. I've been waiting here for a really long time, but my mommy still hasn't come. Oh, I miss my mommy so much, and I was hoping you could put me in that scarecrow like you did with Mr. Monster. I'm sorry. Mama can't help you. Let's be off.
Let's get this slaughter shell on the road. Your numbers don't mean squat. been expelled from the story. I feel terrible, but there's nothing we can do for him. We must be careful not to end up lost like him. Let's get this slaughter shell on the road. Your numbers don't mean squat. <coughs> I have no time for this. It seemed like that old man knew about you and the monster. And he spoke like a child. I wonder what happened to him. This is the last part of the mechanical soldier's story. Let's see how the memory ends, shall we? The escapees arrive at the town outside the castle, and find people in a panic over the impending war. I shall take care of them. Your numbers don't mean squat. <coughs> I have no 
time for this. Somehow, the two managed to escape beyond the borders of the kingdom. Looking back on their former home, they each make an oath. The boy swears to travel the nation as its prince and bring an end to the war, while the man promises to guard the prince until his dying moment. Together, they will sever the marionette strings the kingdom has bound them to. With determination in their hearts, they take their first steps into the future. They both fought, the boy for peace, and the machine for him. That must be how their memories were intertwined. This is the third fragment. Prayer of all emotions. I believe this one might be especially human. It is a heart that fills in the blanks of a vague future. Well, do you feel anything different? My, that's wonderful. Let's keep this up and get those fragments back. Then your wish can come true too. The cage feels quite different here. How lovely. I have something special for you that should serve as a nice change of pace. Once you're all refreshed, I know you'll find your second wind.